Alrighty guys, we are back here on some more Daisy. I literally just spawned in. I am on a faction server and I'm going to be playing as a solo. So my goal is to find and create my own base and try to survive on this faction server. Now, this is a server that a uh, human and bacon and all them guys that you guys are familiar with that are not new to the channel but have been watching my channel. Uh, you guys are familiar with these people. So they are actually a part of the server as well. I am going to be playing solo because they are a part of the biggest faction in this game. So I already have allies in that faction coming into this. So I'm going to be enemies with all other factions because they are enemies with all other factions. So I am just going to try to survive and I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be making my base improvised where you make the tents out of bushes and trees and stuff not like the actual wooden bases maybe i'll upgrade to that eventually in the future whenever i need more storage space or something but yeah we are we are starting off in a high loot pvp faction server as a solo so we are heading north right now i kind of want to go south i kind of want to go south and kind of maybe west or maybe east i have an idea where i want to build this improvised base because i got to build it where most people don't really go uh, to make it at least somewhat make sense. I thought that zombie was a player. I'm an idiot. But if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a link down below. Every single like is very much appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. I don't plan on getting into any PvP. Just mainly trying to get my base started. So we are near an air base. Don't know if I like that. Where, what air base is this? Wait a minute. I might actually be spawned where I am. I know this location. I think. Or is this Northwest Airfield? I hope this isn't Northwest. I don't think it is. But I think I do know where I am now. I honestly can't remember. I think I am in the right position, right place. I hope I am anyway. I really don't want to- I'm not ready to go to military base, so I'm not. I'm not ready at all. I really need rope. So I probably do need to go in here to get rope. It's- it's super early in the morning when I'm recording this. So I'm really hoping nobody's up playing right now, because that would be super helpful. No, I'm not. I'm not in the right place. I don't know what airfield this is. Still might be a good place to, uh, spawn. I want to spawn somewhere south, though. That's the goal, is to spawn somewhere south. Oh, this is a whole set. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep those shoes just in case, because you never know when you need shoes. Let's go and eat this food real quick. A magazine. Some bullets. Guys, we might actually be pretty good here. I just heard a bomb go off. That's not good. Oh, yes. We need the vest. We need the rounds. Oh, yes. Let's freaking go. Got a gun. Let's go. And a helmet. It's going to be helpful as well. So we're already kind of stacked. Let's go. Not bad, guys. Not bad of a start. Now, I still need to find rope. It's mainly what I'm here looking for is rope. Now I need to find a bag. I do need to find a bag and then I'll get out of here. Because I know this is a high populated place, probably. This is an airfield. I actually do not want to be over here at all. I gotta find out where I am. So I'm heading east. See, an improvised base would be good, like, right here. Like, put one base. Like, in a tree like this. Like this. And then like this. And most people just run by it. Most people just run by it. And the chances... Okay, these trees are scaring the crap out of me. It sounds like people. Look at this view, guys. This is just an awesome, gorgeous view of an open field in Daisy. Okay, I know where I am. So what I want to do is I need to go get some water if I can real quick. And then I'm going to keep on running north. I need to run north. Because north is where I probably am going to build my base. As far up north. There we go. It's the only strategy I know to get the zombie. Huh. 
There we go. There should be all of them in this area. Yeah, there should be all of them over here. Yes, a hatchet. Exactly what we need. Let's go. Zombie. Goodness, it takes forever to kill these with heavy hits. Let me go ahead and try to drink some water real fast. Okay, that's as much water as I need. My stomach is already turning. Okay, it's already getting dark. I'm eventually going to have to move uh, to a different location. Because I feel like I've been here too long and I feel like people are going to come up on me on like any second. Yes, let's freaking go. We got a bag. Let's freaking go. We got a bag. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go north. Alrighty, guys. It is morning time, and I am going to go ahead and get some water before we make our journey. I waited till sunrise, and it is sunrise now. And then we are going to go ahead and make our way towards uh, our base location where we want our base to be at. So, uh, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. I got some pliers as well, which is good. I'm ready to do something different with these improvised faces. Like, eventually I might build a wall around it and just have it more protected. But other than that, I'm probably going to try to keep it more improvised. Eventually if I get, like, nails and stuff and I get a lot of that stuff, yes, I'll, I'll go ahead and build a base. Like a legit base, but for now, for this series... At the beginning of the series, I'm going to stay improvised. Let me stop at this train station. See if there is anything useful. Are you rope or something? Because I do need rope. There's one thing I do need is rope. Uh, I'll take the machete because you never know. You might need a machete. Tarp might actually be useful too. I'll take a tarp. Probably takes a lot of, a lot of inventory space, but I'll, I'll take it just in case for maybe one of our tents. Yeah, I'm further along than I thought I was, honestly. I thought I was still far back. Now I will be doing military base runs by that military base that we spawned near. So I'm happy we got it. on our first spawn we spawned right next to where I wanted to be so I'm really happy about that. Uh, but we will be doing regular military base runs over there to get weapons and uh, different materials and things we might need just so we can uh, build up our base materials like weapons and stuff since this is a PvP server kind of what you got to expect you know. Okay there's a little town here. When is this is, uh, Turvo, Turvo. If I'm pronouncing these names right, don't judge me. If I'm not right, but incorrectly, don't judge me. Let's gave by here without being noticed by zombies. I think there is a lot of zombies over here. What is this, dynamite? Oh no, a flare. We'll take the flare. Oh, we got a carbine repeater. Let's go ahead. We'll drop the pitchfork. We don't need a pitchfork, really. Because if we follow this road all the way, we'll be right around the area where we want our base. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Nails. Okay, there's some good stuff here. And we need to run a little bit more north from here. We'll definitely build our base somewhere up here in the trees. We just gotta go more north. I think right here. This should be fine right here. Okay. I'm gonna drop that, go ahead and start cutting down some of this firewood, things like that. Go ahead and get us started. Need to empty out our inventory because we are too full. I really hope nobody will be able to find this. I really hope so. Alrighty guys, we have all of our sticks ready to go. So now let's go ahead and build this improvised shelter. So finally, we'll be able to place all of our stuff. We already are probably going to have to go back to that shelter, that little shack to get our jacket. Because the one we have on is already getting damaged. But look at this. Look at this, guys. You can even pack it too. But I'm not going to pack it. I'm just going to keep it like this. And then eventually I'll put another one right here to block it off. And then another one right here and then eventually I might build a full fence around and have it actually as a base eventually when I get the right materials so what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna go and start placing stuff in our storage. It only has 100 spaces, but that is okay. We don't need too, too much anyway. So we've got this built. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna start building on another base, or not another base, another tent, because uh, this is already almost full. I've already got a pretty much full um, base building materials. So we're gonna have quite a few of these. So I'm gonna put one right here, uh, still kind of in the bush right here. And then maybe one to the side here, or even right here, maybe. Try to close it off a little bit, and then maybe put some in the back, just in case somebody does find this. But I'm hoping nobody does. Um, this tarp, I eventually need to find another one. Uh, yeah. Well, this was episode one of this episode. I don't know how much footage I'm going to get out of this, though. I don't know how much, uh, how long this video is going to go on to. But if you guys do enjoy it, again, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment what you guys think, and if you have any, and you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you're notified when we upload a brand new video. This was a lot of fun recording. A lot of fun recording. Um, we've got our base pretty much built. Uh, we just need to put a fireplace and do some other small tiny things. So we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, this is, this is going to be good. This is going to be good.